Hi, my name is Rei Hyo Sui. I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the Concordia Infant Research Lab. Today, on behalf of our large group of collaborators, I'm presenting our multi lab study on the development of gaze following ability in monolingual versus bilingual infants. Before we start, I just want to let you know that we also have a preprint of the study. So if you're interested, please feel free to click onto the link here. Gaze following refers to the ability to observe and follow the direction of where a social partner is looking at. So the ability to follow an eye gaze is actually very important for word learning because it allows an infant to map a word onto the object that a speaker is referring to. But this becomes slightly complicated for bilingual children because in a bilingual environment, there could be two labels for the same object. So it could be apple in English, and it could also be palm in French. Previous study has actually suggested that bilingual preschoolers have more advanced use of eye gaze than monolingual preschoolers. So here in our study, we are investigating the development of early gaze following ability through four different measures, which include proportion of first look, frequency of looks, duration of fixation, as well as latency of first look. We also tested two potential developmental contributors, which include age-related changes, as well as differences in language experience. So in total, 322 infants from 11 labs across eight countries participated. And they were divided into a younger group of six to nine month olds and an older group of 12 to 15 month olds. They were tested using automatic eye tracking or offline manual coding with a stimuli from Sanju and Zebra's 2008 study. On six test trial, infants saw a video of a female actor looking first towards the camera and then redirecting her eye gaze towards one of the two objects. So the objects that she looked at is the congruent object, and the object that she didn't look at is the incongruent object. So our meta-analysis suggests that proportion of first look Frequency of look and latency of first look are the more sensitive measures than duration of fixation in measuring the development of early gaze following. And all these three measures reviewed a medium effect of each. So what about the developmental effects? Our mixed effect analysis suggests a significant effect of age across all four dependent variables. So compared to younger infants, older infants were more accurate more rapid, and they also looked more frequently and longer at the congruent objects. However, we didn't really find any significant difference between the bilingual and the monolingual infants. So in conclusion, our results suggest that monolingual and bilingual infants actually follow a similar trajectory of development. So despite differences in language exposure, Gaze following ability is actually a fundamental ability that is related to age growth. Thank you so much for your interest in our study. I would also like to take this time to thank all our collaborators, as well as families who participated in this study. You can also find us here through our social media. And here is the list of all the contributing labs. Once again, if you are interested in our study, please feel free to take a look at our preprint. Thank you very much.